Hey everybody, welcome back to match two, game one of our second league. Um, some guards command and a strangler, not the best, but we do have our colors. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Uh, we're on the draw, unfortunately, but if we find a um, silk wrap or anything like that, we'll be in okay shape. Zergo Bell Striker. Alrighty. Let's see what we can find. I do like Wasteland Strangler against a mono red deck, but we need something to go along with it, or we're in trouble. Right, that is not what I had in mind. So it looks like we're just passing. Hoping to draw Flaying Tendrils or Languish. Let's see, so Warriors have a Menace, and Zergo is a Warrior. That's bad news. Drana, we couldn't block anyway. So I don't think it's actually worth playing the Strangler yet, but yeah, we, we need to find a Languish next turn, I think, or we're basically dead. So, I'm going to go ahead and play the Sucking Hollow and hope for the best. We'll actually be out of reach of the Flaying Tendrils momentarily. He's playing out his hand to, uh, well, also to attack with them, but play them to give counters to them with Drana also. But the fact that this has haste is also a good reason to do that. Alright, so the language are bust. Uh, never mind. Uh, he, he killed us. Uh, and then there was the language next turn. That is painful. But uh, that's the way it goes. So... A bad keep, I suppose. I was counting on my first two draw steps, having a silk wrap or stasis snare, anything in it really. But uh, we didn't quite make it, so on to game two. Fortunately, I like our odds sideboarding against that, and we didn't show him uh, any spells, so he does not know for Esper Walkers or Pact or what. I don't think he's going to have tokens. Um, could bring in counter spells, but unlikely to need them. So what's bad here? Besides my decision to keep that last hand. I'm going to ditch an Oath of Jace. Unmakings are removal, but they just take as much life to cast as they probably save you. So I'm thinking that those will not make the cut. Um, I think I like keeping in the Demonic Packs. Maybe one Starfield less, actually. And we can bring in a counter or just... Dragonlord Selmgar deals with a creature and uh, is a blocker. So, mm. yeah, I like our chances here with our new setup, especially him going in without much information, just that we're Esper. We go ahead and take the play. We've got lands, but not the best kind. We can at least cast a Stasis Snare as long mm. as we draw a land, and then we have the Strangler if we find a Swamp. Mm. I think that's reason enough to keep, but then again... Hmm. Knowing our luck with <laughs> drawing lands. I think the only way to make a hand better is to like guarantee a black land, a black producing land, a white producing land, a silk wrap and a strangler. If I could, I would have that in every opening hand. But with Oath of Jace and if we can just find black mana, I think we're in okay shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Fortunately if I'm wrong, I will only have to suffer with the decision for a couple of minutes for I am dead. So, untapped lands would be nice. There's one. So, I think we're just going to probably stasis snare whatever he does next turn. We could also have Jace to find something cheap to go along with the Strangler. Just a Borderland Marauder. Um, hitting us for three, maybe more. Do we Oath or Snare that? Really want to draw untapped black. To strangle his next play and have a blocker on defense. I like saving the snare, however, for something more threatening, like a Drana. And I really want to find land uh, to play on our next couple of turns. I'm going to wait and see what he does. I'm going to snare something. Either the Borderland Marauder or whatever his pre-combat play is. Probably just going to snare the Marauder when he attacks. Hope to draw a Swamp, or at the very least, an Evolving Wilds or something to, uh, oops, 
oh, never mind. Correct mana. To make use of our stasis snare, casting the uh, strangler would be nice. Just another marauder. And nothing else. Alright, so definitely gonna oath here. Got a lot of cards that I'll be happy to pitch, like Demonic Pact and maybe the Concoction. There's our Swamp. So I could play Swamp and Concoction this turn. I kind of like that. Now that we have the Swamp, I definitely like the Blood Curse Knight. I'm going to ditch the Pact for sure. Question is, what other card to get rid of? It's either the Concoction or the Oath, I think. He still has five cards in hand, so Languish will presumably be good at some point. Definitely like the knight coming down soon. I think just the oath. I've got stuff to do for the next few turns. So I think I can definitely afford to discard the extra card draw. Next turn, we're going to probably play either Strangler or Blood Cursed Knight. Or Languish if he plays creatures and we find a Swamp or um, Blue Black Land. Firebird. Flying Haste. Has to attack. And he can bring it back. Alrighty. Haven't seen that card very much, but let's see. Landfall with six mana. We're not close to that just yet. So I think what I'm going to do is play the Strangler and deal with that. Oops. Minus three, minus three him. Return this to the grave and pass. And that's pretty much the way we draw it up. If I get to block here, then Strangler will have two for Wundum, and we'll have fodder for uh, sacrificing to Angelic Pact later. He has Dragon Fodder, speaking of which, and Blood Chin Major. Alright. So next turn we're going to Languish. Question is, do we play the Blood Cursed Knight just to complicate things for him? Kind of make him feel like he has to play out more and go wide? Or do we just Concoction? I think... I'm going to play the knight, even though I'd really like to languish before playing the knight, obviously. Uh, I'm going to see what he has to deal with this. If he plays more creatures out, I'm happy to languish. Gaining some life in the process, I'll attack first happily. If nothing else, I just sit here, and he sits there, and we watch each other play stuff. So he needs another land before the firebird starts coming back, and I'll just be able to command it or something. Alright, Marauder to deal with it. I'm okay with that. Lose my knight. Take three. Follow up with the Languish. Let's see what we draw. Oh, the land's fine. Alternatively, I don't have to play the Languish just yet. I can wait and see what he does next turn. Plays more creatures or finds a land. Just plays the Firebird. I could then, I don't know, kill the Firebird and bounce something. Could Languish, could Starfield, and Concoction, but I don't really have anything I want to discard just yet. With all that in mind, I'm leaning towards Languishing, and then if he plays this guy, I can kill it and uh, bounce a Starfield, uh, Stasis Snare back to hand. I kind of like that, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and Languish him. And if he, waste, if he spends his whole turn just hitting me for three with the uh, Firebird... I'd be alright with that. And then Marauder, I'm very alright with. And Adrana. Alright, so I'm probably going to bounce and kill. Or, yeah, unfortunately, I would have rather tendrils him last turn than languish, but here we are. I'm going to probably discard that to the concoction, killing Drana and bouncing something. which to do and when to do it. Um, let's see what he has next turn. The only way that Silumgar's command won't kill Drana is if he has like a plus yeah. some power, plus one pump spell, and we'll have Concoction for that. So I'm going to go ahead and let her attack. And... Uh, I think I'm going to command now. Let's bounce the Marauder, kill Drana. Or do we just, uh, actually, I think we bounce Drana, kill the Marauder, slightly safer. And then we have uh, Concoction still ready, if need be. Because the, uh, the Marauder, we can 
playing tendrils, however, so that's one reason to keep it. But I don't think trading tendrils one for one is going to be worth it. If he just plays drawn at the end of his turn, it all works out to effectively the same if I just uh, discard the tendrils to the concoction. Now I'm regretting that, however, as he has dragon fodder, which I would rather have the tendrils for. But I do have the shambling vent, so I don't know if he can even attack with that. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and kill here and discard the tendrils. See what we draw first. Preferably not a land. Stasis Snare is good for catching the 3-3 three, three things. I think I'm just going to wait, let him do his thing, and if he attacks, I have a blocker and shambling vent. If he finds a land and taps out for the um, the bird, I have Stasis Snare. Actually, I actually have both. Okay, Olivia's just as good to snare, I suppose. Um, don't think I want her to be used on anything, so I'm going to go ahead and snare her now. Let's see what we find. Another land, not the best. If I play the star field, I'm taking 2 to 5 damage, depending on what else he plays, but then I have a recurring concoction, or Oath of Jace. I think it's more important to get that down now. And we will see if he finds the land necessary to trigger his phoenix. So yeah, going back a couple turns with the Sylengar's command. Alright, here comes the phoenix. Killing Drana, and then following that up with the flaying tendrils would have been nice. Taking five here. Um, but we're bringing back the concoction, probably. To do that. Or the Pact, which is a little too slow, I think. Or the Oath to draw. We've already used up our Flaying Tendrils in a Languish, however. Could find a Strangler would be okay. Don't know what level of burn he's probably packing. Might just find the Concoction. Kill this during combat. Taking two, gaining two off the Vent. I'm going to go ahead and draw cards off the Oath of Chase, actually. Unfortunately, uh, if I had drawn the Pact, I actually could have some blockers, but I don't think that's actually the best choice. So I found a Strangler. Uh, that's going to deal with something. And if we keep an untapped land, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and discard the Starfield and the, the Wilds. I'm going to play a land out, activate my vent, just to guarantee some life gain. Um, unfortunately, then I won't have black mana to play the Strangler. So that is a problem. I'm just going to play the Strangler and kill the Firebird, I think. If he finds a land, he can hit me for three or four, mm -hmm. tapping out. Or I can leave back the, uh, the vent... So what has haste? Um, the Surge, Goblin, another Firebird. Lots of problems. Hmm. I really wish we had another Black Source. Would have gained two off the vent, played out a Strangler, and killed his Firebird and had a blocker still, being at seven life. I think it would have been alright then. I think I want to play the Strangler out. And kill the Firebird. That way, if he finds another land, he has to, to um, tap out to play it. He'll hit us for three or four. Looks like he's got something better. Marauder and hit for two, maybe? Either way, it doesn't look particularly good for us. So sacrifice the Strangler. If it's the Surge. Okay, just a drama. Still not looking so hot. Let's see what we bring back. Hmm. What can we bring back? Starfield doesn't do much. Oath to find something. I think we just have to... Uh, 
maybe bring back the concoction so that we have blockers and then we can use it. I think I have to do that. We'll have five enchantments. We can block and then after blocks have been declared, use the concoction to finish off a flyer. If need be. And I'm going to unfortunately still have not enough black mana. I think I'm going to have to use the vent also as a blocker. And then use um, it to tap for black to pay for the concoction. So with that in mind, I think I just wait here. Hope for the best. Attacks with just drama. Everything. I like that. Alright, just drama. I'm gonna go ahead and use the concoction now. I feel like I have to do that. And I will discard the demonic pact. I don't think I'm gonna be casting that anytime soon. It likely doesn't matter. The island, either way, I'll have it to uh, pitch to Oath of Jace or the next Sinister Concoction. Alright. Really want to get a pact in play just to start drawing cards and dealing damage, gaining life, but I don't know if we have that option just yet. I think I have to bring back the Concoction once again in case he finds a land and plays the Firebird. I need an instant speed answer to it. I really want to get another Starfield down to start bringing back multiple things, also a Demonic Pact. Alternatively, I could attack with the Vent just to gain life, even through um, the Firebird. He has no cards in hand. If he finds a land, that's a Firebird. If he finds any spells, it would depend on what he finds. So, could bring out the Pact. I think I will actually do that, and then attack with the Vent. I don't have enough blockers otherwise. So, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Trade with the Marauder, I'm happy to do actually. I guess play caves. If Pact is online, alright, so he's gonna hit us for three. We can block the rest. We can use Pact to finish off the Firebird. So I think we might be on the cusp of stabilizing here. Alright, we can bring back yet another pact or a star field to start getting even more enchantments every turn. Um, if he had haste, we're going to go up to six here. I don't think he can kill us with that, so I'm actually going to take another star field and uh, start... Animating multiple enchantments. That seems really fun. So I'm going to deal four, gain four. And bring back the star field. Draw so crap. Could start attacking him even. Let's see. I do like holding on to so crap, however. I'm going to wait one more turn. I don't think he can kill us. Out of nowhere. Short of a burn spell. And... Go ahead and let him trade with an Oath of Jace. Ah, Stasis Snares. I can actually use that to remove something if he wants to kill it. So I do apologize to my opponent. Uh, time considerations. Talking through plays. I'm unfamiliar playing against Mono Red. I've played against other aggressive decks, but Mono Red is a different animal, I suppose used to playing control in previous standards where every life point counts and you just get lightning struck or shocked out of nowhere. It's not quite as much heavy burn in this format, but still worth evaluating. And he scoops, so he won't actually make us play out the rest of our turns. But with Demonic Packed out, I think we're in okay shape. With two star fields bringing back a multitude of enchantments. Uh, you can also use Demonic, if, you were, if we were worried at any point of losing to our own Pact, once you have them animated, you can actually use the Mnemonic Pact's Deal 4, Gain 4 to take care of itself. So I would have brought back another Pact next turn, and then the following turn, use that to finish off my first Pact, if I had not won the game by that point. So, with everything in mind, Anguished and Making is a permanent answer to that Phoenix. 
Virulent Plague is an answer to the Goblin Tokens. But taking off turn three to play this card just seems not the best. Didn't see any enchant uh, any uh, spells, really, that I care about negating the spell. So, what cards are not good here? Fear that Soren may be too slow, but he gains life and kills a creature, so I just don't know if there's anything worth cutting for a virulent plague or un unmaking. I'm going to run it back the way it is and hope for the best, so uh, stay tuned for game three versus Mono Red. Be right back.